Hello everyone, this is the solution to example one on the fundamentals of fluid flow. So here's the problem. A vertical circular stack, 36 meters high, converges uniformly from a diameter of 6 meters at the bottom to 5 meters at the top. Coal gas with a unit weight of 23 newtons per cubic met meter enters the bottom of the stack with a velocity of 3 meters per second. The unit weight of the gas increases uniformly to 31 newtons per cubic meter at the top. Compute number one, the mean velocity 9 meters from the bottom, the weight flow rate at the mid height, and the mean velocity 9 meters below the top. So take note, 36 meters divided by 4 is 9 meters. So it's easy for us to answer this especially the variation in diameter and the variation in the specific weights. So 6 meters at the bottom, 6 meters diameter to 5 meters diameter at the top. Then specific weight as it enters the bottom of gold gas is 23 newtons per cubic meter to 31 newtons per cubic meter. We call the top as section 5, the bottom as section 1 so that for every 9 meters, where section 3 is the mid height, mid section, section 4 is 9 meters below the top. So the specific weight from 23 to 31, that's 8 newtons per cubic meter difference, divided by 4, so 2. So gamma 2 should be 25. Newtons per cubic meter, gamma 3 should be 27, gamma 4 should be 29, so plus 2, 31. So that's correct. The diameter at section 2 should be 5 point from 6 to 5, so that's 1 divided by 4, so 0 0.25. So that should be 5.75 meter. Diameter mid section 5.5 meter, then 9 meters below the top, 5.25 meter. So that's why it's 5. So for number one, mean velocity 9 meters from the bottom, since a coal gas is a compressible fluid, then we use continuity equation for compressible fluid. Continuity equation is weight flow rate at any section is constant, and velocity at one is 3 meters per second. At section four, we do not know, so those are questions. So area one, Velocity 1, gamma 1, this is the weight flow rate at the bottom, equals area 2, weight flow rate at section 2, weight flow rate at section 3, weight equals weight flow rate at section 4, and so on and so forth. So we use area 1, V1, gamma 1, equals area 2, V2, gamma 2. So pi over 4 times 6 squared times 3 times 23 equals pi over 4 times 5.75 squared times V sub 2 times 25. So cancel out pi over 4, then we can now compute the velocity 9 meters from the bottom, which is at section 2. And you get 3.005 meters per second. The weight flow rate at mid height, since the weight flow rate at mid height is Q3 gamma 3, even by this, and it is equal to weight flow rate at section 1, so we, we use the data in section 1 instead. So Q3 gamma 3 is Q1 gamma 1, and it is also area 1 V1 gamma 1. So Q3 gamma 3 is equal to pi over 4, 6 square times 3 times 23. So therefore, it is equal to 1951 newtons per cubic meter. And lastly, the mean velocity at 9 meters below the top. So that is weight flow rate at section 4 equals weight flow rate at section 1 by continuity equation. So area 4, V4, gamma 4 equals area 1, velocity, mean velocity 1, gamma 1. So pi over 4 times 5.25 square times velocity 4 times 29 equals pi over 4. 6 squared times 3 times 23 from section 1. Cancel pi over 4, then we can solve this sub 4. It is equal to 3.108 meters per second. So that's it for this problem. Remember, the flowing fluid is a compressible fluid. Therefore, we use continuity equation for compressible
compressible fluids.